opposite. We're dealing with a nice ridge across the area along with daytime temperatures in the 70s and 80s, potentially breaking previous records that were set in 2012. So no century old records here. We're talking about only a couple of years. I do want to take you outside and show you what those highs will be. 77 expected for Colorado Springs, 84 for Pueblo with the mid to upper 80s for the southeastern plains, 65 today for Alamosa with the 50s and 60s for the mountains and the valleys. Now, because of our dry conditions along with some breezy winds, there is a red flag warning. In effect, of course, you guessed it, for the area shaded in red, north Colorado Springs and stretching to the east. So be aware that fire danger is definitely a concern today. Uh, don't engage in any sort of activities that could lead to a fire. Just be extra aware, and especially because it's the start of fire season, I just want to make sure that you're extra careful. And didn't give you the view I wanted to share, but this is the one I really wanted to show off to you because you can see Don's early light, Pueblo Chieftain, neighborhood weather network camera temperatures sitting in the upper 40s and winds are calm. And as you can tell here, barely any clouds to go around, just a thin layer. Blue skies anticipated throughout the day. Our peak internet neighborhood weather network camera showing the city lights of Woodland Park from Gold Hill and temperatures sit in the 30s and in the 40s. To the north and to the east, we're even in the lower 50s, Monument, Northgate, and as for Manitou Springs, here in the mid 40s, off to a comfy start. Temperatures sitting in the upper 40s for Westcliff, lower 40s, upper 40s for Pueblo West. To the south and to the west, Walsenburg and Trinidad, we are tracking calm conditions. Right now, live HD Doppler radar couldn't be more silent, and wind gusts could be up to 15 miles an hour today, so keep that in mind. And your skycast is just entirely boring. But we start to see a bit of a difference on the way. If my graphical play, here we go. We're talking about the 50s, uh, Thursday, Tuesday, I should say, all the way through Friday. Now, Tuesday morning, only a few sprinkles here and there. It'll be very isolated Wednesday afternoon through Friday morning. That's when we're tracking the next opportunity for uh, some s s rain, snow possible for Palmer Divide, Teller County. 84 today for Pueblo, and we are tracking the 50s and 60s after that. For Canyon City, 79 today, tracking the 50s. What we're dropping to tomorrow with an incoming cold front with partly to mostly sunny skies. Just in time for the weekend. Hey, my storm tracker powers at it again. 64 today for Teller County with the upper 40s tomorrow for uh, them as well. And the slight chance for a few sprinkles. And I will have just a specific weekend planner coming up. Feeling a lot more March-like, it looks. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It's lovely. Thanks, Happy. Yep. Now we're going to check in this morning with Mike Lewis at KRDO News Radio for your time saver traffic. Hi, Mike. Hey, good morning. Thank you, Brittany.